Hello, thank you for joining me. This is video number eight, I believe, eight in our series in regard to how to build a simple basement in a Revit model. And uh, what we're going to be doing in this video is showing how to hang a first floor off of the basement walls and how that's represented. It isn't perfect, none of these options are perfect, but uh, Revit does try to give you an option or give you some methods uh, to try to correct this. But this is built very similar to the, the remodel that uh, is demonstrated by pictures in a week four section of our website. You can see how the, the joists are actually hung off of joist hangers in order to support that first floor. So we're going to model this in the same way. So let's do this. Uh, we already have the basement uh, underlay showing. That was demonstrated in a previous video, so we just want to scroll over to the wall, or go to floor, pardon me, and we don't want an 8-inch slab, not in the first floor, but what we want is a wood joist 10-inch with a wood finish. And what we want to do is we want to pick up the edge of the basement wall and hang our floor from that. We don't want our 8-inch overhang that we had before, we're going to make that zero. And we're going to select this wall as our reference for our new floor. So we'll scroll around and draw our magenta line by using the boundary line and the pick walls option. Oh, we didn't get that one right, but you know what we can do. We can go back and edit that. And it didn't trim it either. So let's go ahead and go to the trim button. Trim corners. We'll trim that up. Trim up this corner. Remember, it doesn't like uh, you know lines that go beyond the boundary, and it does like enclosed geometry. So it likes two of those things in order to complete the 3D model. And let's just take that line and drag it to where it needs to go. And I think that's complete. Let's go up to this corner and make sure that's okay. So check mark. That's going to ask us, would you like the walls to go up at the first floor level to attach to its bottom? And the answer here is no. We don't want it to do. We want the floor to actually, you know, determine it on the outside of that wall. So we're going to go to no here. And then the roof, uh, well, the floor roof. Actually, the floor overlaps the highlighted walls. Would you like to join the geometry and cut the overlapping volume out of the walls? And this one is going to be yes. So let's take a look at that, see what that looks like. Okay, let's reduce our scale so we can see the components a little bit easier rather than really big, bold lines. And let's take a look at this uh, wall section. So what we down, have down here is our basement wall supporting our first floor wall. We have more material out here than we need, but it, we need that for the structure of the basement. So it's an 8-inch wall transitioning, an 8-inch structural wall down here transitioning to the structure of our first floor walls, which is only 5 and half inches, so we have an inch and a half to play with over here, or 2 and a half inches, I should say. And then we have our floor over here, and our floor covering on that floor. So the, really to make this correct, we should take our sheathing and our, uh, our clapboard siding, our siding on the outside, and drag that down over here. We're not going to do this in this video, but if you go to the parts section of chapter 4, it'll show you how to do that. Our drywall probably is okay here. We probably want to bring that up to make this correct. Our subfloor right on top of the joist should be dragged out over here to the edge of our sheathing. So the sheathing would cover that. And this way, if we had that subfloor out here, we wouldn't have this little gap over here where we have this uh, 8 inch or in this 2.5 inches of concrete sticking out on our first floor. So these are things that could be corrected. Both of those methods have their, uh, have their drawbacks to them, but this is a reasonable representation of uh, putting in a first floor on top of a, a basement or a stem wall foundation. So that's it for these videos. Please join me for other ones.